Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in this uh, web technologies and we are discussing about the cascading style sheets. So now coming to the next topic in this cascading style sheets is the CSS box model. So what is this box model? Now let's see. In CSS, the term bo box model is used when talking about the design and layout. Whenever you are talking about the design and layout of a web page, you have to know about this box model. The CSS box model is essentially a box that wraps around every HTML element. So this uh, box element is going to wrap or whatever the element that you are using in the HTML program. HTML you are using so many uh, tags, the body, image, everything. So that everything can be wraps uh, in the box model. It consists of, the uh, CSS box model consists of margins, borders, padding and actual content so see here this is a diagram let us take this is a web page okay the complete web page will be divided into these types okay with margins borders paddings and contents let's see the outer one is the you call it as a margin okay so this is a this is one margin is the transparent one it gives a space if you want to get the space from the left side left margin right side right margin top margin bottom margin and after that so first starts with the middle whatever the content that you want to be displayed suppose the content is present in the web page in the middle okay so based on the height of the content and the width of the content that content will be i want to appear uh, i want to print that message in the middle of the web page so by using this css box model i can print this content in the middle of my web page with all the alignments with the spaces with the margins borders paddings everything the text will be appeared in the middle like just like css box model this is a css box model how it is possible okay how my width and the height of the content will be appeared exactly like this okay in whatever the format in the above or below either left or right so wherever you want you can print this box so how it is possible so first is whatever the message that you are printing that message a padding should be there okay a padding top padding left padding bottom and padding right okay so padding is also a transparent it's just give a space between the borders and the content between the borders and the content it's just give a space that is a padding next after padding you if you want to print some border like bold or something with the border size the width of the border height of the board everything okay if you want so here the message will be there and this will be the padding space and here the border you can print border top border right border bottom and border left after that again the transparent margin will be appeared so this is a css box model so in the middle the content will be there based on the height of the content and the width of the content that content will be present exactly in the box model with the help of this padding border and the margin okay so that's about the css box model let me explain you with an example so before going to know uh, deal with the example i want to explain what the content consisting of what padding border and the margin content the content of the box where the text and image appears so where that that is a place where exactly the text and image will be appeared. So here this is a content. In this way the text and image will be appeared. That is a content. Padding. It clears an area around the content. The padding is a transparent. So it just make it clearer. Uh, it want to make something transparent here. So, what, so that no one will enter into this field. Okay. You can't enter into this field. So that it should look neatly okay some space i want to be uh, i want to be show between the borders and the messages so this is a transparent message uh, place it clears an area around the content that is a padding and the padding is transparent border a border that goes around the padding and content so it's just displays a border and margin it clears an area outside the border so in outside the border also it clears the uh, just like a padding the margin also clears but it the margin is uh, outside the border the margin is also a transparent so let's see an example to know this uh, box model the more uh, the one thing that you have to remember that the box model allows us to add a border elements 
and to define a space between the elements so it allows to add a border elements so these are the border elements means what type of uh, border you want you want the bold border you want the different color border you want the design border whatever the so it allows us to add a border elements and to define a space between the elements how much space i need to be uh, present in between the borders and the margins and the padding like that okay so let's see the program so here the style tag so within the style tag i'm i'm using the div as a selector so i'll use this i will call this div in my body section okay style div so the background color is the orange so everything the background color should be the orange and the width of the content is the 300 pixels so from here to here the width of the pixel is the 300 okay and the border is the 15 pixels solid green so this is a border of 15 pixels this width is 15 pixels solid green and the padding is 50 pixels means in between this content in between this content and between the border so the space you are seeing here okay so this space is the padding it's a 50 pixels so this is all the complete transparent space between the border and the content this is a padding that is a 50 pixels and the margin is 20 pixels that is a margin that is a transparent so this is my web page and this is a margin of 20 pixels which is also a transparent okay so how i get this message it this is my output how i get this see here the body div i'm just calling whatever the selector i have using this div and the message is hi welcome to my world css box model and the body close so this message is appearing in the box model so in this way it will be appeared how with the help of all this content okay so, in order to set the width and the height of an element correctly in all browsers, you need to know how the box model works. Okay, by default, you can't set because different browsers having the different uh, window sites. Okay, so in order to set the width and the height of an element correctly in all browsers, you need to know this box model works. Now, let's see how, you are, how we are going to calculate the size of the box or the size of the entire element that we are using. Okay, you need to calculate the box of the size. Based on the box of the size only, the meta will be appeared clearly on different browsers. So, let's take one example. Here, the width I am taking 400 pixels. This width means the width of the content area. Whatever the message that is there, the width should be this. From starting to here, this is the 400 pixels width. And the height of this is 50 pixels. Means this is the height. So, I am taking it as a... 50 pixels so this is the width is a 400 pixels and the height is 50 pixels so like this the message has to be appeared and the padding is 5 pixels means the space between the borders and the uh, content is the 5 pixels and 10 pixels means the width and uh, top and the bottom sorry left right so the left and right top and bottom 50 uh, 5 pixels and 10 pixels border is a 4 pixel solid red so the border should be the solid red i have to be print the solid red that border width is a 4 pixels and the margin is 5 pixels 8 pixels now let's see how i'm going to calculate the height and width of the uh, the total width of the element and total height of the element let's see here with the help of this formula the total width of the element formula is the width of the content so what is the width of the content the width of the content is 400 pixels and the left padding, the padding is 5 pixels and 10 pixels. Okay, the left padding is a 10 pixels, 10 pixels, right padding is a 10 pixels. Okay, and so this is about left and right and this is about the top and bottom, left and right, top and bottom. So left pixel 10, right padding 10, left border 4 pixels, right border 4 pixels. So, the border they are giving is 4 pixels, solid red. In all the sides, there is a border size will be the same. So, 4 pixels, 4 pixels. And the left margin, right margin is 8 pixels. Okay. So, this talks about the, uh, this talks about the left and right, left and right. And this is about the top and bottom. This is about the top and bottom. Okay, 
so i'll get the total width of my element is 444 four, pixels in the same way total height of the element is height of the content top padding bottom padding top border bottom border top margin bottom margin so i get the 78 pixels okay so that means the complete height of my the complete width of the element this is the complete width of my element this complete width i got it as a 444 pixel and the complete height of my element including the padding margin border everything that has to be the 78 pixels okay so in this way we need to be calculated the height and width of the total elements in the box model thank you